Hello everyone, Prince Artemis here again with another Storytime video. And this time, I'm going to be talking about the biggest, the baddest, the most pissed off lesbian you will ever hear about. And her name is Morgan Adkins. Adkins, yes, Morgan Adkins, the fat pissed off lesbian. Yeah, that, that damn hippo chick, you could hear her stomping down the hallway, boom, boom, boom. You know, she just felt like she had the muscle in every conversation. Hell, she was so fat if she tried the muscle into a conversation, she'd push it apart with her fat fucking hips. Like, boom. It was so, good God. Making fat jokes about Morgan Atkins is like making short jokes about Terry Wilson. Okay? <laughs> uh, I mean that sincerely, and we'll, we'll talk about Terry Wilson sometime, because he was, you know, a little piece of... He was a little tampon. Because <laughs> yeah, he was a ginger, his hair was red, and he was a white kid, so tampon, tampon joke, whatever. Okay, Morgan Adkins. She had a very deep voice for a girl, I'll tell you that. It was like her balls drop, but instead of her balls dropping, it's her third chin dropping. Like, whoa, I'm female and I like licking other females and hanging out and judging other people. That was Morgan Atkins. She would just surround herself with crusty lesbians. I'm gonna put it out there right now. The crustiest, most disgusting lesbians you can imagine. You know, and it's like, she's a fucking pig wallowing in her own filth. That's basically what it's like here. Okay? And you know, God forbid if she's walking by and she hears you talking about something she remotely doesn't like, it's like... You know, like, this one time, me and a couple of my friends were talking about Star Wars, and she's walking by, you know, boom, boom, boom. Her big-ass, fat footsteps. She just leans over and says, You need to grow up. Slaps her belly a little bit to show dominance like a damn silverback gorilla. Like, respect my flower tall. <laughs> and then she get pissed off when you tell her to mind her own business like yeah, everything's my business I'm so damn big. I might as well be considered a planet now, I know this sounds mean me making fun of her weight but This girl Let me tell you she was something else. She was not like oh, I'm a victim I've been bullied all my life. No, she was the bully. She was so fat You couldn't make fun of her cuz she'd roll right the hell on top of you. No, she was not a nice person. No, you know what she'd do? She'd fucking belly flop on you if you talked back to her. Like, boy, like Bull Reich showing Mortal Kombat X. You know, she'd throw you to the ground and belly flop on you and bounce right back up. Fat bitch, she'd turn you into a pancake if you talk back to her. And it didn't help that uh, she'd dye her hair like blue and black and she'd try and put it in her face like a damn emo. And she, Jesus Christ, there's just too much to talk about with this chick. Is it the fact that her clothes were always way too damn tight? I know she's fat, but dang, she wasn't like so fat you, you, she couldn't even have normal clothes. But damn, her clothes were always too small and you'd think, good god, it's about to burst I'm gonna get smacked in the face with her smelly, crusty belly. You know? Lord knows what type of trash she's been putting in there, Jesus Christ. Whatever. I know this sounds really mean, me talking about a girl like this, but just remember, like I said a little bit ago, she is not a nice person. In fact, she likes to use her weight in fights, from what I've heard. I heard she was actually fighting someone, and she just laid on top of them until they quit. It was really sad. No, not for the person that lost, it was really sad that that fat bitch had to rely on that. And don't ask where I learn all this stuff from. I have secret contacts that requ they request that I do not divulge their names. Their code names are Oompa Loompa. That's one of them. And the other one is... Well, I haven't actually come up with a code name for the other ones. So, so we'll just call them Roger Roger. We'll call them that, okay? So Oompa Loompa and Roger Roger have both had experiences with this fat disgusting, evil, emo, fat, lesbian cow that's just so pissed off she'd charge in any direction she felt like was 
us at threatening her dominance, you know, like, ooh, 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 I'm a silverback gorilla now. You know, she'd beat on her boobs and flop them around, and Jesus Christ, every time they touch each other, it'd sound like a clap of thunder. <laughs> Respect my authority, yes. I'm a gray gorilla. A feat of incredibility. Like that. Told you that boy. And it, she also bullied other girls, like, Crystal Sprandiel. I actually liked her. She was pretty nice to me. But Morgan Bishop, I, I would always hear Morgan Bishop just treating Crystal and all these, uh, Crystal Sperandio, uh, Sabrina Carlson, all these nice people, she'd just treat them like crap for absolutely no reason. I don't understand why. Those were really nice people. Maybe Morgan Atkins just wanted to make up for the fact that she's so big she couldn't fit a damn heart in there. You want to know what she has instead of a heart? A second stomach. I mean, I thought that was pretty obvious. I mean, you would think she would have room, but no, she has to have four chins. But whatever. You know. And it didn't help that she was also... She wasn't dumb. I'll at least say one good thing about her, she wasn't dumb. But she was kind of also dumb. Let me explain. She decided to fail classes on purpose just so she could stay in classes with her friends and she did this for three years straight she was three years older than all of us in our graduating year actually I don't even think she freaking graduated she was probably too damn dumb to do that because she wanted to get held back and stay with her lesbian buddies Ooh. belly smack you know because she God just remembering her and how pissed off she would get at the littlest things just makes my skin crawl. Like you, you know, you're like talking about Dragon Ball Z, and she's like, "That show's for babies." It's, you're not part of this conversation, Miss Adkins. Yeah, I am. I'm so big, I take up all conversation. And she's a big, 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 big fat motherfucking bitch. Whatever, you know. I don't know where she is now, but if she has a problem with this video, she has to figure out who I am first, get a hold of my phone number, and complain to me personally, or God forbid I get over a thousand subscribers and then get the ability to live stream off my phone, and she tracks me down one day at Walmart when I'm live streaming there, and gets a whole bunch of her lesbian buddies to beat me up. I wouldn't doubt that because she's the t she's big and fat, but man... She's not fair in fight. She'd use her weight against you in a heartbeat, you know, like, like that, you know, you know. She and if her weight can't do it, she'll get a, her other fat lesbian friends, and they'll all pile up on you and start humping the crap out of you. And not in the fun way. It'll leave a smell. It'd smell like the back of Orshelins. Yeah, that type of smell. No, it, not even the back of Orshelins. It would smell like the dumpster behind Indy Williams. Stale bread and old milk. That's what Morgan Atkins always smelled like. She, if she left her jacket on the ground, it would leave a visible stain. I'm not even joking. I fucking wish I was. I remember one time she left... Uh, it was raining and she left her jacket outside. There was some type of shit that looked like oil leaking out of her coat into the water. It actually looked like the type of oil you would put in a car or gasoline or something. It was it was not mixing with the water and it was just there. Um, Jesus Christ. It didn't even help when she rode the same bus as, as me. No one wanted to sit beside her because she smelled like rotten fish. That's disgusting. Hair, you know. <laughs> belly coochie. Smelly coochie all around. Yes, indeed. Why did so many girls in our graduating year have smelly cooches? It smelled like fish. And that's like this other Elizabeth chick. She smelled even worse than Morgan. But this isn't a video about her. This is about Morgan. And Morgan, if you're listening to this, you are a fat bitch. And you always will be a fat nobody. I bet once you got out of school, your life just fell apart because you had no little peons to rule over. Anyway, this has been Prince Artemis with another video, Storytime. 
Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and like the video for more content like this. Have a good one. Stay safe.